I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to the Cisco Certification Video Practice Exam, primarily designed for CSENT and CCNA candidates today, but you CCNP candidates should definitely take a look at this. There's some good review here, and also uh, a new kind of question that I'm introducing to the video practice exams. As you probably know, if you've watched any of my webinars, demos, video practice exams, anything I've ever created, you know that I'm very big on bringing up the live equipment as often as possible. And I'm going to be doing that today as well, but in a slightly different format as far as the questions go, where I'm going to have already run some commands and perhaps ask you what command I ran and what some of this output means. So we're going to go a bit past the usual multiple choice here. And as always, my multiple choice questions are the dreaded select all that apply. I don't like them either, but they are good practice. So let's dive into question one here. I just need you to convert the hex value A9 to a decimal. And we'll actually do that on the board as well when we come back to answer that one. Let's take a look at this question. A port has been shut down by port security. Which of those statements on the board are true? I'll give you just a moment there and we'll go ahead and move on to the next question. And here are the command output questions for today. Let's bring the pod up. And you can see that I've already run a ping here to 172.12.123.2, but you can also quickly tell that this is not the default output of a ping. What command resulted in this output when I sent that ping? It's an important troubleshooting command. You should be familiar with it. Also, for a little extra credit, what's this type escape sequence to abort? And what we're aborting is the ping, but what's the escape sequence? It also works for a trace route. That's your other clue, and you should definitely know this escape sequence. If not for your exam, definitely for the real world. So we'll come back to that live equipment here in a moment or two. Let's take a look at question four here. Which of the following EIGRP values are used by default to generate a route metric? All right, let's head back to question one and walk through these. And let's convert the hex value A9 to a decimal. When we have a 2-bit hex value, which is what we have here, A9, the first value, A, refers to the units of 16 that we have. The second refers to the units of 1 that we have. Well, 9 units of 1 is pretty simple to come up with. We know that's 9. But what does that A mean? Remember, we use letters in hex to uh, express the numbers 10 through 15. So, and there's no sin in writing this out, even in the exam room, because uh, I still do. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, and so forth. D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15, and F is as far as we go. So if we have A units of a, of a value, whether that be 1 or 16, it's 10 times that particular value. So that means A times 16 or 10 times 16 is 160 and 9 units of 1 of course is 9. So you just add those two values together and you've got 169. That's the kind of thing you can practice even when you have five minutes to yourself and that's what I always tell my webinar students. You don't need a practice exam, you don't need an internet connection, you need a piece of paper and something to write on. Just write a hex value out uh, and then just say, okay, if I needed to convert this to decimal, what would I do? If I needed to convert it to binary, what would I do? And that little bit of practice really adds up for your exam day. Now let's go from top to bottom here with port security. A is true because the default port security mode is shut down. And B is false because if that had been the first device to hit the port, of course, by default, you'd be okay. But if the port's actually been shut down and then the device with the secure MAC address starts sending in frames to that port, that is not going to reopen the port. What you've got to do is shut the port down and then reopen it because the port will actually be in error disabled state. And when you do that, you've got to manually reset that port. 
So here A and D are both true. There is a loop inconsistent state that you'll run into in your further studies if you're working on the NA, but that has nothing to do with port security. Let's bring the router back up and we'll take a look at those command output questions. First off, that escape sequence is control shift six twice, once right after the other. It's a little tricky at first, but you get used to it. And occasionally I'm asked, well, if the ping is only five packets by default, why do I care? And remember, that's by default. You may send pings in the future that where you're sending 100 packets or 1,000 packets, and you may want to terminate that one. Also, you can terminate a trace route that isn't going well with Control shift 6 Control shift 6 so That's a good uh, escape sequence to know. And also, this output is the output of debug IP packet. And that's a debug like all of them that you should only practice in a lab environment. You don't ever practice debugs at work. And especially debug IP packet because it does result in a lot of information in a production network. It can actually over, uh, overload the router or overwhelm the router, I should say. Finally, EIGRP values used by default to generate your route metrics are bandwidth and delay. So we're looking here at A and C. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to go out to my channel and check it out. We've got over 100 videos now for Cisco certification candidates just like you. And also, I invite you to visit the bryantadvantage.blogspot.com as well as the Bryant Advantage website. We've got free webinars, free videos, fully illustrated tutorials, and also my Ether Channel webinar, almost 45 minutes of intensive CCNA, CCNP training. It's going to be available on the YouTube channel and the Bulldog blog for free. So that's coming up very shortly. As a matter of fact, it's going to be posted the same day this video is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch it. I'm Chris Brandt, CCIE number 12933, and I'll see you at the Bulldog blog.